Okay, now that you have your drawing planned out, you're going to start to figure out your colors. And then after you've planned your colors, you're going to transfer your image to your wood block and get started cutting for your first layer. I'm going to show you two different ways for planning your colors. In the first one, I'm just drawing on top of my contour line drawing using colored pencil. And my colors are going to be this light blue. And you can see that I'm not coloring some areas in the face which will be white. And those will be areas that will be cut out. In the second color, the medium blue, I'm going to start adding that into the values where I want a middle tone. You can see that obviously I'm not putting this into the white areas and I'm leaving some of the light blue showing through. Those will be areas that I will cut away before I print the medium blue. I'm not filling in the whole drawing just to save myself some time, but I have an idea of how that will work. And here I'm adding my third color, which is a sort of um, color that I've made up using blue and orange since the colored pencils don't have a darker color to create that third color. Um, this would be my key image. It's going to have a lot of the details, a lot of the small areas, and will start to show that the drawing is popping into place in the way I want it to look on the print. And then another option is going to be the idea of using the tracing paper to emulate how the colors would overlap each other. To do this, you're just going to take a piece of tracing paper and lay it over your pencil drawing and start to color in with a marker in the areas that you want the color to appear. Leave the areas white that you would be cutting away because those will be the white of the paper. Now grab a second piece of tracing paper and lay it over the top of the first one that you've drawn. And now you're going to start to fill in the middle values. Again, remember not to fill in areas that you've already cut away, like in the white areas, because those will be gone and they won't be able to be printed in successive layers. And then for the third layer, you just want to grab a final piece of tracing paper and put it over the other two and start to add in your details. You can keep doing this with more layers if you want to. And this will give you a little bit of an idea of how the print will look. There will be a little bit more overlap or, or color showing through on the actual print than we can see through the tracing paper. But in general, this will give you a gauge of how you want to cut each layer. All right, now you have your colors planned out and you're ready to put your drawing onto your wood block and begin to cut your, for your first layer. I'll show you that in the next video.